Hello and welcome to my... Oh, sorry. should probably put these on. There we go. That's a lot better. Hello and welcome to Monday. I am dressed this way for a reason. The reason is technically because I got out of the shower, but there's another reason. Um, I am currently wearing a white undershirt, got my glasses on, my hair is wet, and I'm getting ready to go to bed, which is exactly how it happened so many times before back in the college years. And uh, it happened over and over and over again where these vlogs would exist where all I did was discuss something, a topic of some nature, before bed, but almost always wearing a white undershirt. Uh, and it got to the point where they were called by the viewers white undershirt vlogs. In fact, it got to the point where I was even calling them white undershirt vlogs. The reason I wore a white undershirt is because I was in college with roommates and I wanted to hide my nudity. Now, I, I don't hide my nudity. Back then, uh, the vlogs I don't want to say the production value was lower, but it was lower. Um, we had a less fancy camera. Everyone remembers the flip. It's somehow managed to stay in the logo for all these years. Nowadays, we can use music, and it's wonderful. We can add music to a video, and uh, I very rarely did that back then. Uh, things have gotten a lot better over the years, and I think especially in year seven. Um, but these white undershirt vlogs were the topic of discussion with a friend of mine the other day, and um, there's something that I've noticed over the years. We do things. We go out on trips, we go to these places, uh, we go to Greece, we went to Ireland, we just recently went to Japan, and uh, one of the things I've noticed is that we'll go do these things, but those videos are not always the ones that perform the best. Sometimes the best performing videos, view-wise and audience interaction-wise, or like-dislike-wise, is just videos where I talk to the camera about a subject. Um, and I've noticed that over the years, and I remember in college noticing that as well. There'd be some times where we go out and do really cool things, and sure, sometimes those videos did a little better than others, but then sometimes I'd be really surprised by a white undershirt vlog where I was just discussing something, and the viewer interaction was really high, the, the viewership was really high, people had a lot of stuff to say, and uh, it was just a really weird phenomenon. So I was talking to my friend the other day and he said, you know, I think I know why that is. Going on these trips, going on these adventures, you know, some of them obviously do very, very well, but a lot of people are coming to the channel uh, because they want to hear what you have to say. And when you go on these, these trips, on these vacations or whatever, sometimes you are very involved in that trip, but sometimes it's very little. You know, sometimes it's just kind of you know, you're showing up and commenting on this or that, but you're showing a lot of scenery, a lot of locations, and even though it's very, you know, well done and very cool, a lot of people that are coming to the channel are there to see what you have to say about things. And I said, huh, I guess that makes sense. It's just very, it feels very weird, because sometimes I'll pour, you know, my heart and soul into, you know, like one of the, the Japan videos, right? And I'll go and, and film a bunch of stuff and, and be careful with my cinematography and maybe do some color correction and do all this stuff to make it very fancy. And then I'll just one night have the camera on and, and talk about something, talk about an upcoming video game or something. And that video does even better. And I know that's the nature of the internet, that's the nature of YouTube, that you can't really ever pinpoint exactly what's going to get better. But I'm starting to think that there may be somewhat a pattern here. Um, I think that my friend might be right, uh, that people may just be a little more interested in hearing what I have to say. Now, does that mean that I'm changing anything? No. No, that's not, that doesn't mean I'm changing anything. It's just an observation. Um, I, I'm going to be honest, I really like the way I do things. Um, I don't have a huge interest in changing how I do things. Occasionally there are vlogs where I talk to the camera. Occasionally there are vlogs where the subject is the cats. There's a lot of vlogs where we show off food or interesting beverages, sodas, etc. Um, and then there are vlogs where we go on trips. And I think that the production value over the years for all of the above has went up. One of the things I like about Steven Vlog is that um, it's really it's really experimental. Like, Stephen plays is on a schedule and it feels very much like, um, you know, like I gotta get this done by this day and this done by this day but this done by this day. And because of that schedule, I I view it um, in a very different manner than Stephen Vlog. Stephen Vlog is like, well, when I get it done, it'll come out. And I, it's very free form and free flowing. And it's always been like that. And I hope it never changes because um, 
I, I feel like I have all of this this creative power, and a lot of times uh, I do try and flex it, which is also how you wind up with vlogs like Searle or La Pizza Gelée, which I have no idea if I'm pronouncing correctly. Anyway, white undershirt vlogs are not going to be coming back anytime soon, because uh, to be honest, I don't really wear these. Um, but we'll continue with the way things have been going. Um, I'm just curious to get your input on this. After talking to my friend, it really kind of made me think about that entire thing and how a lot of people are showing up just to, you know, to hear our thoughts on stuff and things like that. Um, and I'm sure that there are plenty of people that stop in for other reasons. God knows that a lot of our, our fan base was established because people were looking for videos of Jugga Conroy. I'm just interested in learning how you guys feel about all of that, so be sure to chime in in the comments. And like I said, nothing's, nothing's changing. <laughs> I, I love what we do on Steam Vlog. It's, it's a lot of fun. It was just a, a really interesting uh, realization and observation. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am continuing to pump out content, and I have a lot more stuff to pump out. We are going to L.A. Friday morning, um, so we only have a little time left. Am I going to be able to get it all done? I'm crossing my fingers and hoping right now. It's going to be down to the wire. And it would have been fine if I had just said, eh, vlogs, I'm going to leave you alone. But no, I was like, no, I'm going to catch up vlogs in addition to preparing all this work. Because, let's be honest, I'm crazy. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?